angry guy here. And today we're discussing why password bros are winning the war. Password bros are winning the war. I mean, these guys are going overseas. They've been doing it for a number of years now, but this thing, it's, you know, it was a trend. It was a smaller trend, but now it's becoming a much larger trend. And, and, and men are like, men are not going back. This is a video I want to check out with you guys right now. Why I went looking for a wife overseas. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And this kind of illustrates what's really going on. You know, it's not just black men that are doing this. A lot of white guys and even some Hispanic guys are just like bailing on the United States. This is, I mean, this is a, this is a, this is a top quality guy. You know, people are like, uh, you know, it's crazy. American women would look at a guy like this. They're like, oh, he's goofy. Oh, I don't want a guy like this. This guy is not fat. He's in pretty good shape. He's actually a decent, good-looking guy. But a lot of American women would turn turn down a guy like this. But you know, Filipino. Look at this. This is his Filipina next to him. Look at that big smile. I mean, to get a girl like that, an American woman like that in the United States, she would want a millionaire. I mean, you know, this is what he, but yet this is what he has. This is the kind of girl he has. You know, she looks good. She probably smells good. As Filipinos, Filipinas like to wash like two or three times a day. They like to clean. I mean, I mean, password bros are winning this day. You know, they're fighting they're, they're, they're fight the war. They picked up the, batal the battalion, and I'm telling you all, that you know this that MGTOW, you know MGTOW, which is a male separatist thing, was men going their own way. That's going to be it's going to you know men walking away is going to be the ultimate the ultimate thing that prevails. I truly believe there will always be a separatist movement, and they're going to be seen kind of like they're going to be seen as a hate group. You know men the men um, MGTOW is going to be seen as a hate group as it should be seen now because a lot of these guys, you know they 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 took they took the philosophy of you know, focusing on yourself and, and and obtain your own happiness, and they took that shit, put it on steroids, and then and turned it into a separatist movement. It was just a philosophy, and it was in, in and they turned it into a into a movement. And I believe, and I know that what's actually what's ultimately going to happen is you're going to have men walking away, which is a, a new movement, which is a mo it's been happening for quite some time. It's been happening since uh, you know since very since um, black communities where, you know, welfare went into those communities and black men walked away and it's been happening for longer, more and more with different guys, different communities, especially as radical feminism has taken off more and more men, doesn't matter what race they are, what background they come from, they've been walking away from society, walking away, going overseas, going, going elsewhere, starting new lives, finding new wives, and just abandoning the old ways, you know, and abandoning the women as well back home. And uh, men walking away is going to continue to grow. It's going to continue to take off. And pass the password bros are literally just a subgroup of men walking away. But uh, let's let's go, let's let's listen to this a bit. Hey everyone, it's me again. If you're new to the channel, my name is Corey. My wife's name is Raquel. We moved to the Philippines from Chicago. She was born and raised here. Uh, we did all the paperwork. She came to the U.S. with me for a couple of years. We had a long-term plan to move over to the Philippines. Uh, that being said, I looked personally for a wife overseas, obviously, because I have one. Uh, so I understand what it's like uh, and why you would do it. But it is definitely a, a hot topic right now. Oh, it's actually, hot. it's been a hot topic, not like hot sexy, but <laughs> I it's, be you know, I'm not trying to be sexy. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's a okay. very popular topic right now and it's been on the rise for the last three, four or five years. In the last year or two, it's just statistics show that it's just going up, men looking abroad or overseas for a wife. Uh, and I get it because I have one. So again, you know, I understand it. I know my reasons and I see the reasons why everyone is doing it. Okay. Yes. I'm trying to be happy and positive about this. So I'm not, I, I'm not, per I don't want to offend anyone because it's definitely a very yeah. sensitive and taboo kind of topic. Especially in the States. women out there. Yes. And I'm, again, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but it is what it is. So facts. This man is scared of black women. This man is scared of the black women. All right, the black women have been coming after men who've been doing this. This dude is scared of these black women. Listen, don't be scared, man. Don't be scared. They can't hurt you. They cannot hurt you, bro. All right, you're doing your own. Look at this guy trying to pat. Listen to me. Do not be afraid of these women. They cannot hurt you. They can't touch you, bro. They can't touch you. This, this. For those of you that don't know, um, uh, black women have been attacking Filipino women. They've been saying that they are uneducated. That they. That they that they don't speak English, that they're being taken advantage of by American men that are going over there, uh, especially black American men, but but white men as well. And uh, and this guy's like he knows what's happening. Clearly, he knows what's happening. 
and the Filipinos have been clapping back. You should. There's other videos I've made about this, but uh, yeah, this yeah, you don't don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of these women, bro. Statistics, statistics are uh, they are what they are. Okay. So that being said, uh, first thing on my list, the reason number one that I was looking overseas for a wife or a bride, finding someone with traditional values or old fashioned, whatever you want to call it, um, is very important to me. So my parents have been married for forty five years at this point. They've never been divorced. My mother raised me, and then when I graduated school, then she started working part time. But my dad preferred to work sixty or eighty hours a week to take care of the family. So having those same values was important to me, and I see that being a very popular reason for men looking abroad or overseas because it's definitely hard to find. It's actually even hard to discuss in the states. So number two. Small Smaller feet and petite. We're gonna again try to say this very politely, but this is also another topic that's uh, easy to offend people. Yeah, no obesity, no land whales, right? Just, just bro, just, just be honest, man. Don't, don't worry about it. They can't hurt you, bro. They can't hurt you. And that's not the goal. I eat healthy. I work out a lot. It's, it's important to me to find someone that um, looks athletic. And can you imagine a guy like this? Like you can tell. I'd be like this guy. Look at his arm. You could see that he works out. He works out. He's athletic. You know, if he shaved his head, I mean, it would take him up even another notch. He doesn't have to, but you can tell this is a guy who's fit. And a lot of women in the U.S. would say that this guy is not, you know, they don't want a guy like this. They want Chad or Tyrone. I mean, like, you've got to be kidding me. You know, you can only do so much to improve your appearance. I'm just being honest with you. You can only do so much to improve your appearance. This guy is a person who's taking care of himself. He's working. You can tell that he's, you know, he has a job. He's saving his money. He's building up wealth. And they're rejecting guys like this. You know, maybe he was a foreign police officer or in the military. I don't know. But they're rejecting guys like this because they're not good enough. They want guys making hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's it's in many cases, they're like, I want a millionaire or I want a billionaire and I'm going to get it. They want guys that are like 6'3", like at least a minimum of six foot. And they think they're being generous and they have to have all these qualities. Like, what the heck, ladies? Are you insane? They're healthier and they're smaller. So I'm trying to be polite. Shorter? Um, shorter too, yes. But either way, it's getting harder and harder to find that in the U.S. And in Western cultures, it is. Unfortunately, being larger just seems to be on the rise. I'm trying to be very polite about that. Another reason why men are looking overseas, definitely a reason why I looked. Because over here, 5% of the population is actually bigger. Majority, almost everyone is slender and more petite or fit or, or skinny. I don't want to use that word. But again, that's that's most of the population in Southeast Asia. So when you're looking for a bride or a wife, it's, that's almost everyone compared to, I'm not going to say the opposite in Western culture, but it's a you know, half and half kind of situation. Okay, number three. Oh, for me, because your um, foreigners are taller and or exotic. For yeah, me. yeah. Um, oh, I thought you were talking. Okay, for a minute. Well, no, it says her. So it's probably you. <laughs> Probably, I'm just, I don't know. I don't, maybe I'm reading into it, but it does it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so to finish what she was saying, in the US, I'm 5'10, which means what? It means I'm average, right? Let's just be honest here. 5'10, 5'9, whatever it is, that's just. Didn't I tell you guys this? Like 5'10, 5'9, you're, you're at, like, that's short. Like 5'10 is short in the US. These people will reject you. This guy is, look at this guy. This guy can barely, like, you know, he can barely move his arm and he is muscular. He can't, you can't get much bigger than this, all right? This guy is working out. This guy is hardcore fit. He's hitting the gym. You know, you can tell that this guy is somebody he'll stand up for himself. He'll defend himself. You know, he's doing what he's supposed to do. He's 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 out there. He's getting his money. But, I mean, come on. You know, not everyone's going to be a millionaire, but you don't have to be a millionaire to live a good and high quality life. But that's not a good, that's not good enough. That's not good enough for these, for modern day American women. I mean, they want, they want it all. They want it all. And five ten is too short. Like they reject. Like only fourteen percent of the population in the United States is six foot and taller. Fourteen percent. All right. So at this point, they're rejecting virtually all. Almost all men in the United States are being rejected by women. Almost all men in the United States are being rejected by women. They're too. Sh they're too short. You're too short. You're too poor. You just don't. You don't have enough swag. You know, you don't have enough riz. I mean, come on, bro. Average in the States. Well, the average male in the Philippines is 5'2". So instantly, when I come over here, I'm taller. I have a different skin tone. I have an accent. So instantly, I'm tall, handsome, and exotic. I'm laughing saying that because in the States, I'm I'm average at best. But over here, yeah. she looks at me and thinks I'm, I'm tall and handsome. And that's great. I love that. <laughs> it's nice, everyone. Look at you. So it's nice. I help husband like this. <laughs> so yeah, it's just the fact that most uh, most Filipino will look at you and there's oh it's a foreigner. So it's nice that for me as a as a wife too. Yeah, it's just um the opposite. You leave your country, you go somewhere else. Where anyway, guys, 
that's everything. I want. I, I didn't want to. I wasn't going to watch the entire video. I wanted to know what your opinion was on this. And do you? I mean, do you see the reasons why men are going overseas and finding wives over there? And is this something that you're interested in doing? Do you think that you're going to go overseas and maybe find a wife and consider doing this? Let me know what you think in the comments. I think that it's going. Like I said, I think that men walking away is going to replace MGTOW as more men say, you know what? I'm going to leave. So I'm going to leave society. I'm going to leave traditional vow. I'm going to leave the way things are structured here. And I'm just going to go and find something overseas. I'm going to build a new life somewhere else where I'm wanted and where I can, you know, spread my wings and fly. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to check out Patreon for more great content, exclusive content. Like, share, and subscribe. <sighs> like, share, and subscribe. If you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, which is men walking away. And share. That was a good video.